hello guys welcome to another video so in this video we will be taking a look into how to set up static files in our django application this video will be a short one in this video we will be specifying how to configure nginx in a way that it can serve our static files in the upcoming video we will be mentioning how to configure a database in the cloud right so let's go ahead So before beginning, make sure you have watched the previous video and uh, you have the demo application or the actual application you might have. Otherwise, the second part may not make much sense to you, right? So previously, we had this application where uh, you go to the hello endpoint and then say that uh, a name, something like Sobi. So it greets you. So this is uh, this was our application. It doesn't include any CSS. It doesn't include any images or any static files so far. So we need some static files to demo our application. Right. So I'll be including a small CSS file and an image and an image file and the source code and all these things you can find it in GitHub. I'll be adding the link in the description. As of now, the application looks like this. So guys, this is the new code. So I'll be updating this in GitHub. So you can check it out from there, but let just let me walk through the code. So basically, uh, we have a new folder called static, which is inside the test project or whatever project you have. Uh, and inside that the test project app. So that is the app that we have created in Django. And that app is registered inside the settings.py. So inside the settings.py, you can see that in, in installed apps, you can see test project has been added, which is the app that we have created. And inside that app folder, which is the test project folder, you have the static folder. Okay. And the next thing you have to check is the URL, uh, I mean the configuration uh, entry, which is static URL and it should be like static. So if you change something here and then the folder name has to change to that uh, change accordingly so here it is static so here is also static as you can see so if i change it to something like assets uh, assets then the folder name should also be assets assets okay whatever but uh, for the sake of this video i'll just keep it as uh, static only now we have a new folder called templates so inside templates there is a file called hello.html so let me just go through the view that we were initially we were serving the uh, response from so we were serving the response from this view so it takes the name as the parameter and it was just greeting you using this statement but as of now in order to load static files and all we need to use templates so you cannot easily include uh, temp uh, static files inside the view you can do that of course but you know it's it will be better to use template and when you do real world application it will be always uh, templates instead of direct http response so i have commented that line out and added a new line and as you can see the import statement so it is initially it was http response but now we have imported a new function called render what this function does is it takes the request and then the template name and then whatever parameters that we need to send to that template which is the name so if you go to the template again as you can see it was it's just the same file i mean it, it, it's just an html file but uh, as you can see here it is and then this is only what we are interested in right now hello name uh, and this name we have passed it from here right so it just simply prints hello name but there are one there is one new thing and that is load static files so if you uh, if you need to use any kind of static files such as css javascript or images or videos or whatever you need to have this statement as the first statement in the template first line of the template and that is load static files okay let me zoom it a bit so that is load static files when you use this line then you can easily include any kind of static file using this syntax so first of all it's a uh, python's uh, django's templating syntax and if you need to learn more about templating in general you can go ahead and of course watch those videos uh, i mean uh, you know learn those things and templating itself is a huge topic and it is outside the scope of this video so basically in order to use 
a CSS file, you can simply include a statement like this uh, static and then you give the path to that CSS file. So it will be CSS app dot CSS. The at the end it will be rendered as static slash CSS slash app dot CSS because we have specified static URL here. Okay, so now Django will go ahead and look for a static folder. Inside that it look for a CSS folder. Inside that it will look for a look for an app dot CSS file. So which we have right here static folder uh, static folder and inside that there is a CSS folder and inside that there is an app dot CSS. So inside this CSS file you can simply that I have only one. Uh, CSS code basically in your case of course it might be like you know generally CSS files are big with so many rules and all but as of now just for the sake of this video I have mentioned that you have a body and the background is green so at the end what we are expecting we are we are expecting a page which will uh, actually wish you using uh, hello show be uh, or whatever name we pass and the background will be green and the green making the background green is done via the static file static CSS file that we are uh, creating I mean that we are uh, providing right so let me run it and uh, and and then let's try to deploy this into Amazon okay let me open my terminal okay here I am and uh, of course I have activated the environment and all so let me type in the command uh, to run the server so that will be python manage.py run server and it says uh, it's live in this uh, URL. So let me go here. It says page not found. Uh, that is perfectly fine because we haven't set up anything for the home page. But instead, if you go hello slash showbi, you can see that a page with green background, right? And if you look at the page source, you can see that it contains the link that we have created, the CSS link, which points to static slash CSS slash app dot CSS, right? And this file is just nothing it's nothing but the CSS file that we have created so one thing that you need to keep in mind is this thing you need to have a static folder that should be inside the project or inside the app so basically as you can see in VS code you can see the project name which is the root I mean uh, uh, the folder which contains all the source code so inside that I have created an app test project or test app basically you might be having like building app or you know any kind of app and that app has to be registered inside the settings.py so in this case it happens to have the app itself contains the settings.py okay and it should be present inside the installed apps section in the settings.py and then the static url it should be present like this as well so it means uh, static uh, the static folder inside the app project whatever right and hello HTML and then I think I hope you get the point basically so this is the app and the code of course you can check out from github I'll be committing there I can give I will provide the link in the description as well so let's try and go ahead and deploy this thing into Amazon so let me log into my uh, Amazon I have logged in as you can see the project I have uh, is already present here it's inside AWS demo. I, I have all the project and other things here which we have configured in the previous video. So let me pull in the changes using git pull. So let me commit it here. So let me pull the latest code from GitHub. Git pull. Now I have the latest changes. Now let let me restart supervisor processes using sudo supervisor ctl reload. Now it says restarted supervisor ready. Let me restart nginx sudo system ctl reload nginx. Yes. Now we have uh, nginx restarted and supervised self CTL restarted. Let us go ahead and see what is happening. Uh, let's go. To, let's open my. Uh, let me open my uh, AWS console. And uh, this is the site that we are running. It says page not found hello 
Harry. I would say is hello Harry. But where is the green color? Where is the green color? View page source. You can see that the it it's loading correctly. No issue. But if you inspect, you can see that it says uh, 404 not found. Why? We have the files there in the CS static CSS because actually we I can show you that. Uh, let me open my terminal. If I go inside a test project CD test project and then inside uh, static then inside C CSS as you can see the file is there but why it's still saying for not for the idea is that the static files it should not be served by python rather it should be served by the nginx itself the server itself it has to serve the css files on behalf of the application for that reason we have to tell nginx not the python application nginx where our static files are and for that reason you need to add a simple line in the nginx configuration right let's go ahead and do it and we will be ready to go yes let's open nginx configuration sudo nano etc slash nginx slash sites enabled django.com so this was the file that we have created so as you can see uh, we have this is the old uh, nginx configuration that we have set up for the application and now we need to add a new location as you can see uh, there is a line saying location slash which means whatever comes to the root location should be processed according to these rules now we need to say that whatever comes to static url it should be processed little differently for that reason we need we are adding a new line like this location slash static and it should it should be served according to these rules and that is auto index on and then in a new line okay you can add a semicolon and then alias slash home slash aws home slash ubuntu slash aws dem slash test project slash static why because this is where our applications static files are living yes just save this using control x y and then let nginx reload reload nginx right now we should be good to go still it says 404 ah sorry i have missed a slash here let's add that slash here right and then save it again y and then reload the nginx reload nginx now nginx has been reloaded and we should be good to go right here it is guys we have successfully served a static files by configuring it in the nginx rather than in the python application of course we have to configure things in python application but at the same time the static files has to be served via the server directly so let's add a simple image into this application and let's try it on the server so let me come back to my source code here i'm coming here i'll just add an image I will have to create a new image for this. I will have to add a new image for this. Static, I'll come to static, create a new folder, img, and inside that I need to create a new image. So I'll just copy one image from my uh, file system. Okay, I have an app.png. So let me come here. I think app.png. Sorry, I have added img, app.png now let's update this in the server so let me commit it edit images and then 
push then I come here in the server do a git pull yeah as you can see the new image has been come let me restart let me go ahead and restart and then you can see the image also has come so this is it guys uh, this is how you set up a static file serving mechanism in Django I'll be creating a new video on how to configure a database in our application very soon if you find it helpful please share it with everyone your friends your colleagues everyone and then post your doubts and other things in the comments let me if i can clear it i'll be uh, happy to help and thank you guys we'll see you in the next video